Hey what's up ladies and gentlemen, I'm Inezalea and today it's Tip Trick Tuesday. In today's Tip Trick Tuesday, I will be going over how to add subtitles in Adobe Premiere Pro right after this. Hey what's up ladies and gentlemen, I'm Inezalea and today it's Tip Trick Tuesday. In today's Tip Trick Tuesday, I will be showing you how to add subtitles in Adobe Premiere Pro. Let's see how we do it. Alright, here we are in Adobe Premiere Pro and I prepared a video file that as you can see is an intro to one of my uh, videos. I will drag that into a new sequence and we want to actually create captions or subtitles for this video. You have multiple options but we'll create a new item first and then see the options. So if you go over here, we'll see an option called captions. If we click on that, we will get this pop-up menu. Here you have the standard teletext. Uh, you can choose CEA 608, CEA 708. The 608 is the older version. This is the newer version uh, for subtitling. And then we have the open subtitling and open captions and teletext. Daily text is actually used to, um, well, CEA is actually used if you want to include information like color and background color uh, for VLC or something like that. But for YouTube, it doesn't work like that. YouTube doesn't allow you to change any of these things. So there you would like to use daily text. And then you have like the just the script that you write in in Adobe Premiere Pro and people have the option to actually enable or disable the, um, the subtitles and will just use the standard uh, template or design or style from that service you are using. Then you have the open uh, subtitling and open captions which are in my understanding similar and exactly the same. Uh, here you can actually uh, burn them onto your video and no one will be able to enable them or toggle them off. Uh, these are burned into your video so um, yeah we'll use these uh, for this tutorial so the open captions because you can actually design them a little bit more. You have options on changing the color for the text, the background, the transparency, it's all up to you. You can do that in the other ones um, because this service will actually provide you their uh, kind of style. So let's choose open captions and here you have the video settings which is the resolution of your video. It will automatically copy that and then click OK. Once you have created that, that will pop into your project manager right here and you will see your open captions. You can drag these onto your video and extend this layer all the way till the end of your video. Now you will see immediately right here type caption text here. We need to kind of edit this so if you double click on that that will pop up a window uh, caption right here. Uh, if you don't see that you can go to windows captions and drag it over here you can actually uh, modify all these locations for uh, these panels so you can actually move them around if you want to I want it right here it's kind of uh, clear to me like this so I will enter my intro I already know my text and you also probably this is my first text and let's zoom in and listen to when I stop saying this Hey, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? Here we go. So we're actually going to drag this all the way till the end of our text. And then right here, I start with, I'm in Yuzalea, and today it's Tip Trick Tuesday. Uh, so then I would actually go over here, click the plus to add a caption. And there we go, we have our second caption. My name is Leah and today it's Tip Trick Tuesday. Okay, there we go. So we have our two texts. Of course, you can do the similar thing to for the rest of the video. You just keep on adding uh, these captions or you click on one and you can delete it like this. I will undo that. And then of course you can go ahead and design these. So you can go over here, uh, change the font maybe. go for an italic. I'm just doing this to show you the options. Increase the size maybe, do something like 50 and you can also add an edge which I don't like. You can center the text. You can also insert uh, music notes which means that you're playing audio at that moment. So you can actually go over here and say like uh, add a plus. 
and add this kind of uh, music note. That means a song is playing at that moment in time, like this. Which you would do if you're playing sound. Okay, so um, then let's continue the design. You can click over here for the background color, change the background color. Um, I like the black color, so I will click OK. But you can also lower the percentage of the translucency or the opacity. I'm going to change that to 75 so you can see through it a little bit. Uh, change the text color maybe. To do that, you click uh, over here to the, on the text icon and change the color to a different color. Before we continue this video, I would like to present you our website designed for filmmakers and video editors to improve their workflow. We offer templates, presets, high quality pre-made packs, soundscapes, essential graphics and much more. If you don't have time to create something of your own or you just want to speed up your workflow, definitely check out our website with the link in the description below of the translucency or the opacity. I'm going to change that to 75 so you can see through it a little bit. Uh, change the text color maybe. To do that you click uh, over here to the, on the text icon and change the color to a different color. And of course you can do that for each individual one. Or you can select both of these and change the text. And there we go. So that's how you would go around editing everything in here. Uh, you can also add a kind of uh, stroke around your text, which you see a lot uh, in subtitles. Uh, maybe you want to delete the background, so you would just set this to zero. And uh, for this also to zero. Then for the text, you want to add some kind of border. So you would go for like 50 or even 100. If you have an edge, of course, of two. And there we go. So now we have this kind of uh, stroke around our text. Increase the size and the edge maybe to five. And there we go. We start seeing this maybe 10. And that way you start designing your tiles exactly the way you want them to be. Of course, don't forget to select all of them uh, to actually arrange your uh, style so it's similar for everything. Um, but that's completely up to you. So that's basically how you would do that for open captions. And again, this is burned onto your video. So if you render it out, it's burned in there. Uh, if you want to do that for YouTube, for example, we can delete this, create a new caption right here. And let's go for a teletext in this case and click OK. So right here in the beginning, I will drag my teletext on my video and also extend it a little bit and go for. Hey, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? I'm Ines Alea. Blah, blah, blah. OK, there we go. And now we have our text. You can see it in here. Uh, you can. Hey, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? I'm Ines Alea, and today it's Tip Trick Tuesday. And once you're done doing that, you can easily click on the teletext right here. Go to File and go to Export. Export this caption and go for a SRT maybe. Click. Then save it as. Then save it as subtitle. Go to your YouTube video and right here you have the options to, for example, upload a subtitle. So I will actually go to actions and upload a file. Transcript, choose file. Click on the subtitle, click open and upload it. Boom, here you see your subtitle with the correct timing and if you play your video What's up, ladies and gentlemen? I'm Yuzalea. And there you go. So, of course, I didn't do the timing perfectly because I wasn't working on this video, actually, but it's just my standard intro. Um, but, of course, that's kind of it. All right, so that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give this video a like. Also, subscribe to the channel for more. Definitely check out our website. We have a bunch to offer for filmmakers and motion graphics artists. And apart from that, I hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye.